Okay, this is Bobo, owned by Marin Cornish, and she's agreed to let me borrow her as a demonstrator model. Um, this puppy has had some training, although she's not real familiar with her. So what we're going to talk about now is body handling and starting to stack and how to stop before you stack. So we've already worked on getting the collar up and although we addressed doing a nylon collar in the other video, we're using a chain on this puppy because the owner is doing a little bit more training. The main thing is, is when you're holding the collar, it's snug but not tight. You do not want to be choking the dog. So you don't hold the collar like this. This is a no-no. You don't hold the collar like this if it's too big because the dog can back out of it and get away from you. You simply take the collar, snug it up, pull the excess over and gently hold it. And then you have a hold of the dog's head. So we just want to get her used to being handled. So we're just putting our hands over her body fairly firmly, going down the back of her legs going over her tail and you can see she's crouching a little bit that's okay you just come underneath the tummy gentle pressure under the tummy rub it down the legs down the legs stroke the body and then we want to look at the mouth you hold the collar underneath and you lift the lips up show the teeth this is just practice right now we don't have to be perfect body handling and you just keep doing that so now what we're going to do is show you how to stop before you stack the dog. You need to have the collar up in the proper position, which means you've snugged it up on her neck and you take it underneath her and cinch it up just a little bit. You want it snug. You do not want to choke the puppy. Give the puppy a command that you're moving. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Let's go. And you're just going to walk a little bit so she gets used to the pressure. As I get ready to stop, I snug up the collar, pivot on my left foot, and see I'm already sideways to the dog. This gives you a few extra seconds. We're going to do this a couple times so you can see it. Good girl. Okay, you plan where you're going to stop, snug up your collar, pivot on your left foot towards the dog, and what you can't see is I've snugged my finger under the collar so I have a hold of the dog I can set her collar up stack 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 I know she's not standing right but we're not going to worry about that right now one more time good girl very good sideways to the dog okay once you have them stop and you want to just practice so they learn they are sideways to your body you're straight on they're sideways they are not leaning on you you snug your collar up your left hand gets the left leg and it's either by the shoulder or the elbow you go no further than that so just lift the elbow up switch hands left hand on the collar Right hand, right leg. Good girl. Switch collar again and the rear. You reach. It's okay, baby. Good girl. You reach under the rear and when you do this, notice how I rub my hand. You don't want to just grab her leg because she's not used to that. So you rub your hand, you can rub it on the tummy, and you reach underneath. You'll feel a little bump on the inside of the thigh. Your thumb rests on that and your fingers come around. You pick the leg up and set it down. The other leg you can pick up by the hawk. Never go like this, but down here. Now she's not set up perfectly, but she allowed me to move the legs. All is good. Only need to do it for a second. Praise the dog. Good girl! Yay! Good girl! We'll do it one more time. Good girl. Stop sideways finger under the collar. If you notice, she's somewhat trained, so she tried to fix her front properly for me. I don't need to do anything with this leg. It's fine. Left hand holds the collar, right hand front, switch right hand to the collar, left hand, left hand. Good girl. This puppy